All right, so uh, in this little video here, we're going to talk about two different uh, spotlights that you can buy. One on the left is a Husky, and then you can see the one on the right is uh, Snap-on. So I paid the same amount of money for each of these. I bought the Husky new at uh, Home Depot, and the Snap-on I bought at a pawn shop. They're about $50 each. So uh, I'm not sure if there's any real benefits with going with the Husky. Like, it does have an on-off switch, but it's just a single... LED element. They used to make another version that was more like the Snap-on version I liked more, but I can't seem to get my hands on it where it had a whole bunch of LED elements in it. And then there was one on a stand with three panels with the individual LED elements and it was excellent. I'm going to be trying to find one of those in the future. So I wouldn't really recommend this one from Husky. The reasons being is that it's kind of cheap with the supports. Just one screw here, and then these things here. It's kind of floppy. This one has been damaged. I was grinding or welding beside it. And uh, because it's plastic, it's all rough now. Haven't really used the uh, Snap-on one too much. It's also plastic by the looks of it. But it has some benefits, uh, one being that the stand it's sturdier, but you can't spin it around like the Husky. And it's uh, 2,700 lumens. I'm going to look up the other one and see what it is. I think it's between two and 3,000 lumens, but I can't remember exactly. And the real benefit of this one is that when you turn it on, it actually has a dimmer in it. So you can control how bright it is. It doesn't need to be completely blinding. And close up your eyes so you can't see. Although when I turn this on, the camera is going to freak out and it's going to get dark but uh, I just wanted to show that and it's also it's got a handle so you can move it around and both of them are relatively cool to the touch they do have some heat sinks on them but they don't get hot like the halogens they're not going to burn down your shop and they're not fragile like the halogen bulbs either so that's on just dim and then you can get it brighter and brighter so Depending where you live, if there's a good pawn shop in the area, I do recommend checking them every couple weeks to see what's going on there. Within reason, you don't need to spend all your money there, but you can get some pretty good uh, purchases from them. So that one's just bright. So uh, just something I picked up to help myself around the shop. Thank you for watching.